I'm at Bali National Golf Club on the 11th tee. Have a look at this hole I've got in front of me. This is the most magnificent hole. And Glenn has contacted us at Search for Scratch and our program about a problem he's having with drop kicks, where he's got a total loss of confidence with his driver because he just doesn't know where the ball is going. So Glenn, I thought I'd uh, take the opportunity to share some ideas on, first of all, uh, possibly what's happening with why the driver, why you're drop kicking the driver and, and getting a, a big, uh, uh, you know, variety of shots and what you can do about it. Uh, so let's talk about it first and foremost. Uh, a driver is an important club in the bag here on this tee. Uh, there's, there's, you've got to be able to carry the ball a good 200 metres to be, get it to the fairway. So I can feel your frustration there, Glenn, and, uh, and your pain with not being able to hit this club the way you want to. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the drop kick and how it happens. Usually a couple of reasons. Uh, first and foremost, when a golf club, uh, when a person has a driver in their hand and they swing the golf club back over to the side of them and they move to the right side, uh, what happens is from here, a lot of people, because they have an impulse to hit the ball, which is over here, they throw the club at the ball, and when you create a force that's moving in the direction of the ball, the brain responds by moving in an equal and opposite direction, just basic physics here, folks. So I swing to the right, I'm over here somewhere going to whale my golf uh, ball with my club, and then I propel the club at the ball because the ball is over here. My body leans further back, so now I'm sitting really into my back hip. And what happens, because the club is releasing outwards too quickly, too soon, the golf club finds the ground before it finds the ball. So you end up hitting this shot like this. You're sitting well and truly into your right hip. The club strikes the ground, it hits the ball, and the ball, as Glenn mentions in his message to us, it can go anywhere. Uh, so, so, you know, what is the one thing that Glenn could focus on that could help to get uh, a more solid contact and get you on the track to, to better results? So Glenn, I'm assuming in the setup that you've got a reasonable grip. I mean, you're playing off about a 12 handicap and uh, you obviously want to get it better. And if you could drive the ball better, it would make a difference. So I'm assuming in the setup position, everything is pretty good here. And I'd say you've also had some lessons, so you've had some information and you just don't seem to be able to translate it well enough. So hopefully we can do that here for you. Okay, I've got a good way for you to think about this. I want you to think about the seam of your trouser leg on your right hand side or your shorts. So in other words, there's a seam that runs down the inside of the leg. And what I want you to be able to do is when you swing the golf club back, you've got to turn your body and stay on the inside of the seam. So in other words, when you go back, you feel like you're inside the seam. Now, if the seam move sideways like this, that's a problem for you. So what I want you to be able to do is swing the golf club back and you can see my leg has kind of gone back, rotated back, but it also has straightened a little bit. What it's not doing, I'm not rocking over onto this side like this where there's a, a motion sideways. It's a rotation more or less back. Now what this does is it allows me to stay more centered. So I'm going to rotate my hip back and my leg back and I stay more centered over the golf ball. That's step number one. Okay, and there's only two steps here. Now, so I'm at the top of my swing somewhere over here and I'm rotated into this back leg on the inside of it. So the pressure is staying on the inside of the leg here, Glenn. It's not moving to the outside of the leg at all. Top of the back swing. Now from here, I have to move back to the ball. And what I don't want to do is I don't want to move with the club. I want to let the club just find its way back there. So I'm going to move my lower body. And here's what I'm going to ask you to remember. It's very simple. We're rotating around the inside of the seam on the backswing and then we do this. We lean the seam towards the target. We lean the seam. So we've gone from here and we lean the seam towards the target. Now what that does is it moves the pressure from my right leg across to my left leg. The other thing it does is it moves my body back to the ball. So I'm a little more level in relation to the ball. I'm not hanging back into this right side where the drop kick happens. So the swing might look something like this. So I'm here, your comfortable stance. When you swing back, you rotate inside this seam, let the hip go back, it'll look like this. And then from here, Glenn, you move, you lean the seam first, you go that way with the seam. So you can see my right leg and my right foot is rolling this way. What I'm not doing is going that away. I'm not lifting the heel and the hip up and out, which creates that motion of casting that creates uh, the drop kick. So rotate back into the seam, hip back, 
lean the seam forward and keep the swing going to the end. And your, your third part, the end part, is just to finish in balance over on your front leg. So three parts. Swing back, rotate inside the seam, the hip goes back, it's not rocking out here. If you find you are, then your stance might be too narrow. Widen your stance so you feel like you can rotate without rocking into your right leg like this. All right, rotate back, lean the seam, so move across this way, and then keep going. Now, the first few shots you hit, the golf club won't find the ball. In other words, it's not gonna hit the ball properly. You're gonna need to do a little bit of practice at this, Glenn, on the range, but it's definitely gonna be worthwhile because there's only three parts to it. Let me say one more time, we're gonna rotate the hip back, rotate in and around the inside seam of your trouser leg there. Number two, you lean the seam forward, that is towards the target, like I'm doing there. And number three, you rotate all the way to the finish and finish over on this side. Now, if you've got a pretty low handicap, and I know you want it to be better, and I guarantee you by doing that, it's gonna make a big difference to the way you swing. So I'm just gonna demonstrate one shot here, and I'm just gonna work on rotating that hip in and working the hip the way I've shown you, all the way to the end. Nice, easy swing. Well, I got lucky with that one. I've hit it right down the middle, solid contact. And all I worked on there was the feeling of rotating inside the seam, Glenn, shifting across this way, leaning the seam towards the target and finishing in balance over here. Glenn, if you do these things, these three things and focus on them and hang in there with it while you go through the transition period, you're going to play better. You're going to move towards the handicap you want. You will drive the ball better. And we wish you the best with that. Thanks so much for your question. And uh, we love some feedback later on once you've got uh, better at this move. Thanks again. Well, there it is. We hope you enjoyed this lesson. Remember to share any questions in the comments below. And feel free to share this video with your golfing friends. We want to help you easily and effortlessly lower your handicap by four shots or more. So we want to invite you to join our Search for Scratch program, which we've designed to help you find out how good a golfer you can become if you are trained with the best coaching model practice plan and course management system, all whilst developing a champion golfer's mindset. For more information and to become another one of our success stories, visit searchforscratch.tv forward slash search for scratch program or click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, commenting and sharing this video guys. We look forward to supporting your golf improvement in the Search for Scratch program.